This tutorial is sponsored by AE Juice. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects, then create a new composition. I am calling it Neon Flicker. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second. Set the duration to 7 seconds. Let me import the required texture. Drag the texture here to create a new composition with the same size. Go back to the main composition. Drag the texture composition into the main composition. Rename it to the wall center. Press S to open scale properties. Decrease the scale to 55%. Select the wall center layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Rename it to wall right. Then enable the 3D option. Press R to open rotation properties. Then change the Y rotation to negative 90 degrees. Press P to open position properties. Change the X position to something like this. Then increase the scale to 75%. Duplicate the wall right layer. Rename it to the wall left. Open the rotation properties. Change the Y rotation to positive 90 degrees. Then change its position to something like this. Cool. Move the wall center layer to the top. Double click on it. Right click here. Then new, and select the adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect hue and saturation. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Change the master hue to negative 100. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect CC vignette. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer, change the amount to 300. Change the pin highlight to 100. Let's see the changes. Amazing. Right click here, then new. Select the adjustment layer. Drag and drop the CC vignette effect to the adjustment layer. Change the amount to 420. Pin highlight to 100. Also, drag and drop the same effect on the wall center layer. Amount to 420. Pin highlight to 100. Before I move to the next step, let's see our today's sponsor AE Juice. AE Juice is a powerful set of tools and presets designed to help motion graphics and animation artists enhance their creative workflow in Adobe After Effects. With a wide range of features and capabilities, AJUICE offers a comprehensive set of solutions that can help artists take their work to the next level. They have an amazing I Want It All bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like seamless transitions, presets, titles, and neon glitches, for your project, and much more. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last for a lifetime. They also have a starter pack that has over 100 animations you can try it absolutely free. For more information, check out the link in the description. Create a new composition. I am calling it Neon Text. Select the Type tool from the toolbar, and type your text.
Right click on the text layer. Go to create. And choose to create masks from text. As you can see we have a separate mask for each letter. Just turn off the mask. Go to the E letter mask properties. Then add a keyframe on mask opacity. Decrease the opacity to 0%. Go to two frames forward. Change the opacity to 100%. Repeat the same process. Let me do it faster to save your time. You are free to set the opacity settings as you want. Let's see the result. Select the neon outlines layer. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect, Saber. Drag and drop to the neon outlines layer. Change the preset type to Neon. Under the Customize Core. Change the Core Type to Layer Masks. Set the Glow Intensity to 35%. Set the Glow Spread, and Glow Bias to 0.10. As you can see nothing is happening. Don't worry. Just change the Alpha Mode to Mask Core. Go to Render Settings. Change the Composite Settings to Transparent. Hide this layer, and unhide the text layer. Enable the toggle Transparency. Then change the font color to black. Right click on the text layer. Go to Layer Styles. Select the Bevel and Emboss. Again right click on the text layer. Then Layer Styles. And choose Drop Shadow. Under the Drop Shadow Settings. Change the distance to 35. Change the size to 15. Now, drag the neon layer to start from 1 second. Then unhide the neon outlines layer. Go back to the neon flicker composition. Drag the neon text composition just above the adjustment layer. Let's see what we have created so far. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Right click here. Create a null object. Rename it to neon color. Right click on it. Then effect. Then expression controls, and choose color control. You can choose any color you want. Lock the effect controls. Go to the neon text composition. Go under the saber properties. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click the Glow Color Stopwatch icon to add an expression. Drag the Pick Whip to the Color Control. Select the Neon Outlines layer. And press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Go to the Texture Composition. Then paste the Stroke Outlines layer. Press S to open Scale Properties. Then increase the scale to 220%. Then align it to the center. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Fast Box Blur. Drag and drop to the Neon Outlines layer. Change the Blur Radius to 50. And Iterations to 30. Finally, change the Layer Blending Mode from Normal to Hard Light. Cool. Copy and paste the neon outline layer, just below the neon text layer. 
Also, change the blending mode to hard light. Let's see the final output. Amazing! I am happy with the results. Let me change the texture, and the neon color. I hope this was helpful, and that you have learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.